This is the World of Sports Network presentation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the G to the U to the R to the U. Welcome and to continue our NFL GM ranking. Uh, we are number six and we are going to the city of brotherly love. We are going to Philadelphia, none other than general manager Howie Roseman. Now, Howie Roseman, um, he's been with the Eagles. He's a lifelong Eagles front office guy. I mean, he started since, um, he graduated in a sense. Um, he was an intern over there from the Eagles, and he rose all the way up. So, in 2010, that's when he actually got the label as the general manager. But you also got to have, I put a little caveat there because um, Andy Reid, in a sense, was also there. He got the final say so. But obviously, Howie Roseman had a lot of influence, but Andy Reid did have the final say so as far as decision making overall in 10 years uh he accumulated 87 and 73 record uh and with the asterisk in that man with that 10 years because in 2015 there was a chip kelly debacle uh chip kelly actually had all the decision making and he was a gm as well as a coach so that was a little hiccup in, in, in the eagles history and howie roseman so i'm not gonna go talk much about that situation so that's why i put an asterisk in, in, as far as his 87 and 73 because i don't want to I, I did include the chip kelly 2015 record in his overall record all right um but he bounced back man you know after the whole chip kelly situation my man bounced back man like ron ball so in 2016 he bounced back he got full he was the full man he was in full control man everything was all his man it was the howie roseman show and in two years after that my man went to the super bowl and won the super bowl with new coach dougie peterson so howie roseman got Hey, my man got receipts, dog. When he talk, when he comes out to as far as one of the, the the bright minds in the front office game, Howie Roseman is definitely on top of the class when it comes to that. When it comes to building a team and building an organization, man, this guy built it from the I like how he built. He builds it from the, the interior line, man. Howie Roseman is an expert in what as far as building from the offensive line and the defensive line. When he comes, that's his specialties, man. You look at the Philadelphia Eagles the last 10 years the offensive line has always been a strength of that organization and that particular is because of Howie Roseman and also their defensive line has also been very very um, formidable um, Howie Roseman that's his strength now as far as the skill players woo, yeah, yeah, let's just say he's not very good at skill players I'm gonna be real with you I'm gonna be real with you Howie Roseman is not very good as far as getting skill players, man. His history shows, bro. Like, I remember he's the same guy that got Namdi Asamoa. You all remember Namdi? Yeah, bro. Namdi is supposed to be this Mr. Everything corner. He didn't pan out. Howie made an L on that one. And, and then also, he's the same GM that made an L on Byron Maxwell. So, I'm telling you, I mean, we know what B Max was with Seahawks. And then Howie Roseman gave him that deal in Philly. So, Howie made some mistakes, man. And look at the guys he has drafted as far as that cornerback position. Those guys, he, he's not, he's, uh, ah, ah, he's not a very good skill player identifier, man. I love you, my man, Howie. But when it comes to that skill player position, man, the Nelson Aguilares and who, I don't even know who the hell he Put it like this. Jalen Rager, I love you to death, man. But Howie Roseman picked you, bro. That's not a, that might be a death sentence, bro. I'm not, I'm not sure. And you all know I love my man Darius Slay, bro. I love Darius Slay, but the Eagles do not have a history, a good history. Howie Roseman don't have a good history of paying high-level cornerbacks money, man. And you all know I love my man Slay, man. But my man Howie Roseman history, his receipts, woo, man. Put it like this. Good thing he's very good at the offense and defensive line does because he won't be my top six. He was an excellent, and he's an expert, man. You still got some of the things he did. You know, Jason Kelsey, drafted Jason Kelsey. Uh, he's one of the best. He ended up being one of the best center in the whole um, football and also one of the great locker room leaders in, in, in Philadelphia. And Lane Johnson, what can we say about Lane Johnson, man? Lane Johnson, take away his little PED situation. Lane Johnson is a bet. He's one of the best right tackle of his time. Dog. In the last decade, Lane Johnson at that right target 
position is being a man. Let's just be real. And then my man drafted Andre Dillard. Who's going to step in basically and replace Jason Peters? See, I feel comfortable with that, man. When it comes to the offensive line and defensive line, my man Howie Roseman ain't too many people better than my man Howie, bro. I'm going to be real with you. Ain't too many people better than my man Howie, man. Look at this. From the defensive line aspect, let me just name a few. Brandon Graham, a staple for the Eagles defensive line, man. Brandon Graham been a staple over there, man. My man Vinny Curry, he told my guys, guys that meant Howie Roseman put, and they fit, they fit perfectly into the Philadelphia Eagles scheme set, man. And of course, Fletcher Cox, man. Fletcher Cox, probably the greatest Eagles defensive player of not name Reggie White, man. Fletcher Cox, as far as that defensive line, bro, he's, I mean, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer, man. The guru is saying it. Hall of Famer, Fletcher Cox. And I mean, Howie Roseman love the offense and defensive line. He gets Malik Jackson, man, for free agency. He gets Michael Bennett. When he comes to the offense and defensive line, ain't too many um, GM is better than Howie Roseman. Now, when he comes to the skill players, uh, e -e -ah, e -ah. we just let it go, man. We just... Put like this, it's no Eagles no on that one, no Eagles go. But you know what? This game is built on the offense and the defensive line, and Howie Roseman is a superior GM, and he's a rising star in this league. Y'all know the drill, man. Like this, love this, share this, and I am out.